Hello all. So we were discussing about functions, right? Yeah, one more part is there for function details. Uh, we will see that in the next session. So in this session, we will see what is lazy evaluation. It's actually a technique used in Python to improve the runtime performance of the system. So from the name itself, we can guess what can be lazy evaluation, right? Yeah, the evaluation is done lazily. So the definition of this uh, lazy evaluation is that an object is evaluated only when it is actually required, not just when it's created. That is a lazy evaluation. So by doing this, it helps to optimize the performance at runtime. Let us see an example for this lazy evaluation. We are defining two different functions. First one is test1 and the second one is test2. In the first function that is test1, we are printing first expression evaluated, then returning false. Like that in the test2 function, Second expression is evaluated, that is the message displayed, then it returns false. And the main thread, we are calling these two functions by applying the OR here. Okay, test1 or test2. Okay, so test1, when it is called, this function will be invoked, this will be executed. So first expression will be uh, evaluated, that will be uh, displayed, right? After that, uh, the corresponding value return will be false. Like that here also function call will be add invoked then the result false will be displayed right? can you guess what will be the output of this function we are trying to print the result here result is actually the or applied to these two function calls right yeah when we try to print the result the result is first expression evaluated second expression evaluated then false why right? so so in the this statement Test1 or test2 means first the test1 will be executed, right? The def definition will be executed. So first expression evaluated, that will be displayed. And the corresponding false, return false, right? So false will be substituted here. Then the second argument for the or, this will be called. So second expression evaluated, that will be displayed. Then return false. Here also false will be substituted. Then the OR is applied here, false or false, the result will also will be false, right? Yeah, that is assigned to result. Then we are printing result. So false will be displayed. So this is the output of this function. This is a normal execution, right? There is no concept of lazy evaluation. Everything is evaluated, right? Now let us see another example for this function. Here you can see that test one is the same first expression evaluated but it returns true okay and the second function the same thing second expression evaluated return false there is no change but here in the first function it returns true okay now let us see what happens when the corresponding function is called so the same function called here also test one or test two and print results can you guess the result here you may guess that the same thing happens, yeah, first expression evaluated, then second expression evaluated, then true or false, uh, that is the result will be true or false, that means true, right? Print results, that will be true. Can you guess like that? But if you try to execute this, the result will be this only, first expression evaluated, then true. How it happens, so, yeah, that is a property of this OR function. What is the definition of OR? That is, if the if any one of the argument is true, the result is true, right? So in uh, this case, test one is itself true, right? Because it returns true, right? So if any one of the argument is or the operand is true, result is true. No need of going to the second argument, second operand, right? Yeah, that is why we are getting only first expression evaluated. That is only the first function call is executed here. There itself it got a true value. Then no need of checking the second argument. So the test 2 will not be executed. Its function call will not be executed. And the result will be true itself. Right? Here. So here the lazy evaluation happened, right? Yeah, test 2 is not at all executed. It will be executed only if it is required right yeah that is lazy evaluation now let's see another example for the same same definition test one print uh, first expression evaluated return true and the second one also return true 
and uh, the result is, is that it calls test 1 and test 2 or instead of or we have and here so can you guess the result here based on the property of and operation yeah definition of and is like this if uh, both of the operands are true the result is true right so in this case the first operand is true you should definitely check for the second also then only you can make sure that the result is true right yeah so definitely the result will be first expression evaluated then second expression evaluated then true see you can see here the first expression first one is executed first test one is executed first right return value is true that will be substituted here but it cannot uh, confirm that the result is true because only if both of the operands are true the result is true so it should go for the second one also this will be executed the true value will be substituted here then true and true the result is true okay now what happens if we change the definition the test one the return value is false what happens here yeah the test two is the same okay and result is and operation what happens by the definition of and if any one of the operand is false the result is false right so in this case when it calls the first function result is false then it can confirm that the result is false right yeah no need of going for test 2 whatever may be the value of test 2 the output is false that means it can postpone this execution or a function invocation it is not executed okay so that also example for lazy evaluation so <clears throat> so the output here is first expression evaluated and the final result is false